Have you noticed there aren't a lot of mock-ups out there created in the Affinity Suite for the Affinity Suite? And while mock-ups created in that other app using smart objects will work, sometimes it takes tweaking and time to get them to work the way they're intended. So let's change that and make our own. Hey everyone, I'm Tracy, an artist and educator from the Chicago area. Designer and the rest of the Affinity Suite are my go-to set of applications for everything from surface pattern designs to illustrations and other graphic design projects. I enjoy sharing my knowledge and love of these apps, and I've had the privilege of being named an online educator to watch by Serif, the makers of the Affinity Suite. In this class, I'll show you how you can use Designer to create realistic mock-ups for your surface pattern designs from scratch using vector shapes and free textures. Mock-ups are an integral part of the surface pattern design process. They allow you to share single designs or collections on social media, in your cell sheets, and online portfolios. When you create your own mock-ups in Designer, not only do you get exactly what you want, no more, no less, but you know with certainty they'll work in all of the Affinity apps, Designer, Photo, and Publisher. This is the first in a series of classes I've called Mock-Up Workshop, where we'll be starting with the basics and creating three mock-ups. A full canvas swatch with multiple realistic gathers in different directions that are great for sharing close-ups of your motifs. A swatch card with gathers and realistic warping. And finally, a three fabric stack complete with realistic folds so you can easily share a small collection of designs. By creating these three mock-ups, you'll learn how to create multi-directional gathers using a combination of the gradient tool and appearance panel, how to add realistic texture to your mock-ups using no-cost images from the stock studio and other free use image sites, how to create realistic folds in fabric to create a stacked effect using the gradient tool, and finally, how to work non-destructively and save your mock-ups as reusable templates that can be used time and time again, quickly adding new designs for maximum efficiency. Plus, the process and tools you learn about in this class can be applied to other projects that you create in Designer, from illustrations to graphic design. Now, I'm going to be using the iPad version of the app. However, if you're on the desktop version and you know where the tools are located, you should be able to follow along. Just note, I'll be utilizing tools that can only be found in version two of the app. This class is intended for intermediate users as it does assume some familiarity with the layout of Designer for iPad. So if you're new to the app, I recommend taking beginner classes that will walk you through version two's user interface and give you an overview of the tools. So are you ready to dive in and create your own realistic mockups with some simple vector shapes and beautiful textures? If so, let's get started.